What's up everybody and welcome into another Ableton Live tutorial. Thank you for all the love on the last video. It's been incredible. I wanted to kind of do a continuation of what we learned before and show you guys how to actually build out an entire set list for a service inside of Ableton Live Arrangement View. So let's jump right in. Okay, so now we are back into our Ableton session. If you haven't watched the previous video yet, definitely go check that out. The link is in the description down below, but that gets you to the point that we're at now where we have our one song in here, which is won't stop now in this case. Um, we have our tempo track, which is set to 122 beats per minute, which tells Ableton what the click should run at. So it's synced up with the multi-track. And then we have our marker that tells us what the song is. And we have our multi-track grouped over here and color coded. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out what the tempo is for the next song. So I know that the next song is Fade Away by Passion and the tempo to that is 72 beats per minute. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna copy this tempo track. So we do Command C or you can right click and do copy. And then I'm gonna select right next to it on the same line where I want the next song to start. In this case, if you look here, I've left this tempo track longer than this multi-track down here. That way, if we want to repeat a chorus or repeat a bridge or whatever, after the multi-track is over, the click keeps running. So what I like to do is I like to leave a good amount of buffer here at the end. Probably a ridiculous amount of buffer, honestly, more than I'll ever need, but you never know. Um, so I like to at least have double the amount of click left over after the multi-track ends, just in case we need to vibe or flow on a moment. So I want my next song to start right here at bar 513. So I'm gonna take this tempo track that we just copied a minute ago, and I'm gonna click right next to it and click paste. So now I'll extend it out a little bit, and now we have a start point for our next song. So what we wanna do is we wanna change the tempo of this tempo track now to the tempo of the next song. So I know that the tempo of Fade Away by Passion is 72 beats per minute. So I'm gonna click it right here, just like we did before, and go down here to Segment BPM, and we're gonna change that to 72, Enter. And then we'll click Master Slave, which will engage it. And so now, if we're over here, you see I put my cursor right here over this tempo track. If you look up here in the top left, now Ableton's tempo is set to 72. So the next thing I always do is I'll add a marker, a locator. So if you right click here up in this area, you can do add locator. And I'm gonna name this two, cause it's song number two and call it fade away. So now I've got my tempo track, our tempo is set. So when we get to this point in the arrangement track, uh, the tempo, the multi-track will run at 72 beats per minute and it'll be synced with what we bring in. So now I'm gonna rename this just for organizational purposes. So if I look at it at a glance, I know. So right now it's still named 122. So I'm gonna go Command R and do 72 BPM. Now I've renamed that track and we're ready to bring in Fade Away. So I'm gonna go over here to my search bar and type in Fade Away. And you see it brings up this folder here and then there it is, Fade Away Passion Multi-Track. So then we can just click this multitrack.als file and we're gonna drag it down here where it says drop files and devices here. So we'll let that think about that for a second. And now we have fade away in here. Now, if you notice by default, it puts this next song that we just added in at the very beginning. So obviously we don't want that because this is where won't stop now is. So we don't want these two playing at the same time, obviously. So. The quickest way to move these over, you can do, there's a couple different ways. You can click the first one here, click the last one while holding shift, drag them over to the right position of the song. Or the other way, the way that I like to do it is by simply doing command X, which will cut it. And then you select the position that you want it to go. So in this case, we want it to go where the fade away marker is and do command V. So now our track is in the right place. It's synced up because we know that the tempo is 72 beats per minute and we have a marker to show us where it is. So the next thing we want to do is we want to group it just like we did with this song. So if we click the first one, then click the last one and do command G and then command R to rename it. And we'll name this fade away. 
And then I always color coat my grouped multi-tracks in red, but it doesn't matter. This just this is an easy way for me to see it because it the black is very contrasty against the red. So if I'm glancing over, I can see exactly what song I'm on. Um, and then you can take your audio interface and set it to outputs three and four. So now everything in this group is going out three and four. I always disable the built-in click track because we're using Ableton's, which is why we have the tempo track going on. Um, and then I route my guide track external out of output five. That all varies on how you do your interface. I do mine like this because my keys run out of channels one and two, and then my tracks run out of channels three and four, and then my guide runs out of channel five. So now that's all set up. These are grouped, they're organized. So now we have a second song. So let's go ahead and repeat the same process and add a third song. So we're gonna copy this tempo track. We're gonna go down here, select right after it and do Command V to paste it. And then we can add our locator that tells us what the next song is, which in this case it's O Come to the Altar. And then I'm gonna change the tempo by going down here to Segment BPM and change it to 70 because it'll come to the altar 70. Click Master Slave once. And then I'm gonna rename this tempo track 70 beats per minute. Now, it'll come to the altar is in 6-8. So if we were to drag it in right now, it would sound really weird. The click would be completely off, even though it's the right tempo, it would still be off because it's the difference between 4-4 and 6-8. So what we wanna do is we wanna tell Ableton that at this point in the arrangement track, when we get to this marker, that we want this to be 6-8 time signature. So if you right click up here above this marker, you have an insert time signature change option. So you can select that and do 6-8, enter, and boom, now when you get to this marker, of oh, come to the altar, if you look up here in the left, it's set to 6-8 and the tempo is set to 70. So now we can do the same thing as before. Come over here and do oh, come. And now you see oh, come to the altar is the second option down. So we will select that file and drag it in the same place we did it last time. Let it think about it for a second. And now it is loading in. So now it's the exact same process as before. We select the first track, scroll down to the bottom, hold shift and select the last track, which will select all of them. And then command X to cut all of the tracks together. And then we can go up here to where our O come to the altar marker is. Select the first track again, so click track. See right here, I'm on the same line. That way when we paste, everything lines up again. Do command V and boom. Now O come to the altar is in the correct place at 70 BPM with a time signature of 6-8. Now we can select this first one, select this last one and Command G and go ahead and group these and Command R and we'll rename it, it'll come to the altar and we'll color code it red and assign our outs to whatever our audio interface, however we have our audio interface set up. So I have it set up three and four here. I'll disable the click track that comes with the multi-track because we'll be using Ableton's built-in click. And then I'll route the guide track out output five. So now our tracks are all in here in a row. We have won't stop now, fade away, oh come to the altar. They're organized, they're routed, and our click track and time signatures all synced up with the various multi-tracks in the set list. So no matter how many songs you have, you can just repeat this process over and over again and build out your entire set list all in arrangement view in Ableton. So hopefully all of that made sense and was helpful to you guys. If not, definitely leave me a comment down below and I will reply to you as quickly as possible. Also feel free to let me know any suggestions for any future tutorials you might have or any questions relating to Ableton, main stage, keyboard playing, whatever the case may be. Um, I plan on making a ton of these, so definitely let me know what you'd like to see and I'll keep cranking videos out. Also be sure to like and subscribe so you stay up to date with everything that's going on. Um, and as always, I appreciate the support and I will see you guys in the next one.